Lesson 1.2, Absolute Value Equations. So before beginning uh, real, um, the main topic, so we need to define what absolute value means. So absolute value means distance from zero. Okay, one example. On the number line, we just put zero here. So one, two, three, four. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. We can say one is one unit away from the one, a zero. At the same time, negative also one unit away from the zero. And then, two is two unit from the zero. At the same time, negative two also two unit from the zero. Three is three unit from the zero. Same way, negative three also three unit from the zero. Like this, you know, absolute, uh, absolute value means we only care about the distance here. Therefore, negative 2, which means positive 2, which means 2. So, then how can we interpret this concept? Both negative 2 and positive 2, they are 2 units from the 0. That's what this means. Therefore, we never write negative value for absolute value. As you see, you measure the distance. You know, we care about the direction. It can be east side, west side, or north and south. But we never say, oh, so negative 5 maybe kilometer or negative 10 kilometer. We never say that. So distance value always from the positive. That's the key point here. So based on this, we can begin uh, the main topic. So the first question is absolute x equal to 5. Then how to interpret this meaning? I really hope you understand what this means. What this 5 representing. This 5 represent distance from the 0, basically. So now, another word. This x is 5 units from 0. What is or what are those values? So, we know x can be either plus 5 or minus 5. So as you see, plus 5 and minus 5, they both are 5 units from the 0. So in this case, x equal to 5 or negative 5. Okay? Now, the second question here, absolute y equal to negative 6. What does this mean? So, any y value which is negative 6 unit from the 0. So, right before, we just confirm that distance cannot be negative value. We always put as a positive value. If directions are opposite or different, then we can indicate it like um, right side or left side like that but we never put negative value therefore this case no answer because we cannot solve it okay then what about this question then absolute x minus 4 equal to 9 yes we need to isolate 
absolute value alone and then we solve the problem so we need to remove minus 4 so we combine 4 on the both sides then this become absolute x equal to 13 it means any x value is 13 unit away from the 0 so we know x can be 13 or negative 13 okay then uh, let's start covering a little bit harder questions such as absolute 3x minus 4 equal to 8. Please remember this whole meaning is absolute value which is a unit away. So, what x value can be a units away from the zero? Yes, it can be a or negative a. It means this value, this value must be 8 or negative 8. If any x value satisfied a or negative 8, then those are a unit from the zero. Okay? So from here, we solve that problem. So plus 4, then 3x equal to 12, and divide by 3, then x equal to 4, or you combine 4 from here, then 3x equal to negative 4, and divide by 3, then x equal to negative 4 over 3. Yeah, unlike those questions, because it has many different expression, we don't have exactly same value with the opposite sign. Okay, it's based on the equation expression. Okay, then another question. Absolute 2x minus 1 minus 8 equal to 11. Yes, before we isolate absolute box value alone, so we just combine 8 at the same time, then absolute 2x minus 1 equal to 19. It means 2x minus 1 can be 19 or 2x minus 1 become negative 19 basically so let's solve it so plus 1 then 2x equal to 20 divided by 2 so x equals 10 or combine 1 then 2x equal to negative 18 and divide by 2 then x equal to negative 9 so those two are answer for the question